Heartbleed has the potential to be one of the biggest, most widespread vulnerabilities in the history of the modern internet. At the root of Heartbleed is encryption. Think of encryption like a secret language between two people. The internet has a set of protocols for security and encryption commonly known as Security Sockets Layers and its successor, Transport Layers Security. The most common implementation of SSL and TLS is a set of open source tools known as OpenSSL. OpenSSL runs on 66% of the internet. So even though you may not know what it looks like or what it even means, you probably interact with it on a daily basis. So what would happen if OpenSSL had a flaw? What if those secret keys you shared with the server were suddenly accessible by somebody else? And what if this flaw was completely undetectable? That's Heartbleed. It's a vulnerability that's designed in such a way that with enough time and enough energy, lots of information can be accessed by somebody and you and the server you talk to would have no idea. The worst part is that this bug has been around since December 2011 and a lot of software packages started using the vulnerable version of OpenSSL in May of 2012. So for two years, any websites, apps, banks, or private messaging services that run OpenSSL have been vulnerable. This is a pretty complicated thing to fix technically, and it's not enough for IT pros to simply patch copies of OpenSSL that are running on their devices, apps, and websites. They also need to make sure that any digital certificates issued before the patch are still safe. So what can you do? First, check to make sure that a provider has updated to patch Heartbleed. Mashable has actually compiled a pretty comprehensive list of websites and their responses to the bug. Then, change your password. It's that simple. For more information on Heartbleed, check out Mashable's latest coverage. And don't forget to check out the other videos in our Mashable Explained series. 